Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I am here to show you my spring planner setup and yes, I have used the Happy Scrappy February planner and sticker kit mostly in this planner to set it up. I just got so inspired by this kit. It was so pretty with all the pastel colors and all the bows. But firstly, I have to tell you that this bow that you see right here is also from that kit. Now, if you watched my Happy Scrappy kit unboxing which I'll link up here. You might not recognize this bow and that's because I didn't even know that I received it. Mine had kind of got stuck in the envelope so I didn't see it until afterwards. Luckily I took one last look in the envelope before throwing it out or else this little baby might have been gone forever so I'm so happy about that. And I did actually put it on an extra chain here. This is just a ball chain I had laying around because this is supposed to be like a TN charm, but this is not a TN and this is the planner I decided to use my kit for. So that's where it ended up. By the way, the planner itself is my very favorite unicorn planner, the Kiki K bubblegum pink planner from 2014, I believe. And she is pretty much stuffed to the brim, as you can see. Like, this thing can't really get any tighter. Which, I never saw myself as a stuffer, but this setup has kind of proven me wrong, so... <laughs> yeah, but I'm really excited to go through everything with you guys and show you. So, yeah, let's just get into it. So, here we have the kind of initial opening dashboard setup thingy, whatever you want to call it. So shall we start with the pockets, maybe? I think so. Okay, so at the very back of the pockets here... Oh, I had actually more stickers here than I remembered. Uh, I have some stickers. These are from Pop Mix Designs, just really colorful and cute. And I also have these, which are from Taylor Elliott Design. Also really colorful and cute. And, oh wait, I have... Oh gosh, I feel like I've forgotten what I have in here. These are just some icons from Sugarloop. I really love the colors. I think I had these in here before as well. I guess I never really took them out, so maybe that's why I forgot. Either way, this notepad here is also from Sugarloop. I love this one. This one was in here before, but I just love this one too with the colors. This little paper clip here, I love this one so much. This one is from Little Miss Daisy Rose, and it's just a super cute little cactus in a little cup, and she's so happy and cute, and she has a little, little hair and a little gold bow. I just, I love her so much. And I've been saving her for spring, and now finally, spring is here. And this bow that you see here is from Simply Gilded. It was part of the January kit. And because the Happy Scrappy kit was called Hello Beautiful, it was a lot of bows in there. So I kind of decided to keep that theme, to have a lot of bows. I mean, I love bows, they're just so pretty. But then again, who doesn't love bows these days? Speaking of bows, this is a really large one that I have here. This one is from Mommy Lay, and behind it, also where I stuck this little girl, I just put this little card. This actually, it was like backing. Actually, this bow um, came on this one. But I just love the colors, it really matched the kit and the spring vibe I wanted to get, so I just stuck it in here. And then I put this one here just to, you know, the bow theme, and this is like my favorite paperclip ever, I just love this one so, so much. Actually, I shouldn't have stuck her down so soon, because I also have some washi samples right here. Here I just have a various different washies from various different shops. I think that these two skinnier ones here, the pink and the yellow, are from Laura by Laura. This one is from AliExpress, and this one is from Simply Gilded, this one is from Fox and Cactus, this one is from Miss Caramel, I love this one so much, and this last one is from Simply Gilded. These colors just really went with the theme and just the cuteness I wanted to keep in this planner. So I put those in here. And here I just have some page flags, these are also from AliExpress. And these are bows, and I did have them in here before, but I just love the look of having them here, plus they are both, so they just fit perfectly, and I think these paper clips I also just kept in here, because, I don't know, I didn't change everything, I liked a lot of everything that was in, I just changed a few things here and there. So, getting into the actual inserts and stuff, first I have my dashboard, which is kind of two parts. As you can see, I have another one of those bow paper clips from the Simply Gilded box. Actually, these two are a bit different. 
as you may be able to tell. Either way, this one is holding together this acetate. This is my favorite acetate ever. It has like gold sparkly dots. It's so pretty. I think I had this one in before as well. <laughs> I just love it so much and this one is kind of layering on top of the actual dashboard which was the dashboard featured in my planner kit from Happy Scrappy. I love this girl cup so much. I actually don't own the original but I just love all the different illustrations that different people do of this one and this one by Happy Scrappy is just so so cute. I love it so much. And the back of it is really pretty too. I mean, you could definitely be able to use this as a divider as well but I just love this girl uh, a lot so... Oh, and I think I forgot to tell you, back here I actually have, actually it's just a piece of paper from the kit, which is folded like this. So this is how the papers came, which I then ended up making dividers out of, which you'll see very soon. But I love, 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 love this pattern so, so much that I felt like I really wanted it to kind of welcome me as I open up the planner. I would have loved to have this also as the dashboard, but I really wanted to have this dashboard too and I couldn't decide. And since I made a lot of dividers out of this one, I decided that I'm gonna have this one as the dashboard instead to kind of mix it up a little bit, but I still wanted to have it a little bit. So this was kind of a way for me to get the best out of both worlds, I guess. <laughs> So, as I said, the first divider, as you can see, is this paper. I love it so much. It's just, I don't know, it's so me with all the colors, the pink, and ah, oh, I just love it so much. And these dividers, like I said, I made, but it was pretty simple. Since the papers were A4 folded, I just cut them right where they were folded, and that way I got perfect A5 inserts. And these tabs here are actually... Also from Happy Scrappy, they came in the kit as well. These are like rose gold tabs. I love them so much. I just had to use them in here. And on the other side of this one, I tried something I have never done before. I actually, I went looking for these adhesive plastic uh, pockets that everyone has been using, mainly in their TNs though, which I haven't actually used them in TNs yet. I found these on AliExpress. But they were a lot bigger than I thought. So I was like, whoa, I am not gonna fit this in like any TN unless I cut them or something. But then I figured that they were actually perfect size to put in an A5, which is actually the main size that I use. Uh, I put one of these on each divider to make it a bit more functional. So in the first one here, I put some stickers. Oh gosh. Let's see here. Also, when you take them out, you can barely see that there's a pocket on there, which is good because if I decide that I don't really want to use the pockets or something, I can just take the things out and it's almost invisible. So yeah, these were some kind of smaller sticker sheets that came in the Happy Scrappy kit as well. Firstly, actually this one was not from this Bodiful kit. This one I think was from the January almost a little bit Valentine's kit, but the colors went really well as well. Just a really big kind of decal sticker. I don't really know where to put it yet, so I'm just using it, the whole thing, as decoration, as you can see. This one did come with a beautiful kit, though. It's actually folded. I think this is supposed to be for, like, a pocket TN or something. Kind of looks like that size. But I just folded it to kind of... to keep the smaller sheets in one place. And I also have this one, which is just the same, except this is the January kit. I love this color so much. It's so, so pretty. And last but not least, we have the foiled uh, day covers, rose gold foil, I believe. These came in the February kit. These you can fold, but I don't want to, because they kind of fit great the way they were. So I just keep all of these in here. I mean, it is functional, but it is also mainly for decoration. So yeah, this does bulk up your planner a little bit. So when I say that my planner is bulky, it's not just from like paper inserts. This takes up quite a lot of space since I actually have them on each divider. But I like to have a planner that's not just papers. It's a bit more fun, I think, to add little bits and pieces here and there. For me, that's what kind of makes it fun with the creative planning. But either way, yeah, so I haven't labeled these because I still don't have any stickers and I don't want to make my own. But then again, these tabs are so pretty, I'm not sure I want to cover them up with something. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to like, I just remember it in my head. But then again, I also have these kind of on top. Maybe I should get more of those type of bookmarks so that I can read it from the top instead of the side. But as it says here, it's month. So monthly is the first. These, once again, are my own inserts that I designed and printed. Very simple. I had this in before as well. But I just like it to be simple and 
easy to decorate. Yep, so then we get to my second tab, which I layered with this really beautiful vellum. These are silver foil bows, so, so pretty. And here is the divider itself. This is kind of blue and pink and white plaid, super pretty. And once again, I have a pocket here. And this pocket I actually dedicated to wonton in a million. It's only wonton in a million stuff in here. So at the very back, I put... Actually, I'm not going to take everything out because it was a bit of a pain to put everything in here and make it look good. I put a card that she always sends out in orders, which were perfect size, this square shape. I didn't have to cut it or anything. It was like it was meant to be in one of these adhesive pockets. Then I put some of her decal stickers that I haven't used, like put anywhere yet. They're just really pretty to look at. So I put those in here and some washi samples, some of my favorites. And on top of that, I put some of the sticky notes. So this is functional but it's also mostly pretty and also a way for me to store these kind of decal stickers, which I'm not really sure where else to put them, so... Yeah, so then we get into my weekly inserts, and this is actually the current week that you see here. I went a little bow crazy this week with Simply Gilded Bow Washi. But yeah, these, I've actually switched uh, inserts. Also, this uh, Today bookmark is from My Paper Love Studio, and here's just a sticky note from Van Sticky, but... The inserts I've actually switched because I used to have my own that I designed myself. But I have switched, like I said, and these are actually printables from Hello Pretty Paper. Now, I switched because I really wanted to have inserts that were the right size when it comes to the boxes. Because I've been buying a lot more kits and they're like Erin Condren style. But I don't want to get an Erin Condren planner, but I still want to be able to plan like it was an Erin Condren planner. Or mostly, like... I don't have a sidebar as you can see, but I love that these were really simple, just no extra decoration or anything, very easy to use, plus the fact that they were the right size and width. So these are perfect to put one full box plus a header, like that's exactly the right size that they are. And I'm really happy about these because now I can use all my kits kind of the way that they're supposed to be used. So yeah, I have quite a few weeks in here, I think like... Uh, I don't know, but either way, I have quite a few weeks. Uh, so then here, these are actually inserts that came with the Happy Scrappy kit. And these are really pretty too. Uh, the only issue I have with them... I mean, they're pretty because of the bows, but I don't really like to have them there because they're kind of in the way. If you want to put a header, you cover it up or... I mean, you could put a header underneath, but they're just plain with no color. And I mean, you could color them in. I see a lot of potential with these. It's just for me and my type of planning. It's not ideal. But I do think they're really pretty and holding it together is this paper clip. This one I got from AliExpress as well. And let's see, here's what they look like both sides. I put them in here only because, because these are printables, I have to print them myself. And sometimes when I run out, I get lazy. And it has happened that I haven't like had any proper inserts to plan in at all. So I've just like not been using my planner properly which is really bad when I actually have inserts. So I decided to put them in here. So if I ever get lazy and don't want to print these out once I run out, I do have these so I don't have to feel like I can't plan. Here we have the third divider. And once again, this is really gorgeous bows. Like these are holographic foil. That's so cool. And on the pink background this time, and these tabs are just so pretty. And once again, this pocket is stuffed. Which, it's it's not a very smart choice to stuff these if you <laughs> don't want to get a stuffed planner. But I don't mind having a stuffed planner as long as I can fit everything I want. Which right now I'm really happy with everything. So, in this pocket that I had here, it's a bunch of freebies that I have gotten from a lot of different shops. This one here is from Miss Karma, as you can see. This is from Wanton in a Million. This is also Wanton in a Million. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co. These are from My Paper Love Studio. Let's see. These are from No White Space Stickers and it's a collab with Sweet Ava's Paper. Here we have one from Twinkle the Unicorny. And I also have one here from Pop Mix Designs. This is from Happy Scrappy. No White Space Stickers again. Happy Scrappy. The Coffee Monsters Co. Once More with Love. Van Sticky. Happy Honeybee, 
and pop mix designs again. These are sorted only by size. And I know I have more like freebies somewhere, but for some reason when I was setting up this planner, I actually couldn't find them. <laughs> so these were ones from more like recent purchases that I had. But I also, I always forget to use freebies because I always put them somewhere and I forget where they are. Like the rest of them that I can't find right now. So I wanted to have them all in one place in my planner so I don't forget to use them because usually they're so small and I don't really keep them with kits or other places where I keep my stickers. I thought this would be a good way to not forget to use them, at least I hope so. All right, so then we get into the actual section here, which is to do. And first I have this sparkly bow here. I think this shop was called Charlie's Magpie that I got it from. Holding together, it has these inserts, which also came with the Happy Scrappy kit. I love these colors so much. Like this green and this pink together, just totally reminds me of spring. I get all the feels for spring. I love this so much and like the bow checklists are just adorable. Then I have some more to do sheets and these came with a February kit. These are really cute with the bunnies. I mean, look at that. All right, so then we have the fourth divider and section. Here I have some vellum again. Once again, also silver foiled that came with the kit. So, so pretty and this divider is just pink. And the other side, I have some cards that I got with orders. The first one here is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I love these colors so much. Once again, I feel like it really goes with the theme. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. And on the back here is where you have the coffee beans so you can collect like a freebie. So I just keep it in here. Also not to forget that I have this because I also end up putting these somewhere and then I'm like, wait, when I get a new order and I want to put the stickers to collect them, like, where is the sheet? And I can't find it. So once again, I decided that it's best to have it in the planner so I know where it is. The second one here is from Doodle Stew. And this one is really cute, also came. There's nothing on the back here. And then we get into notes, which in notes here, the first papers I have are actually dot grid because here I think it's a good place to jot down things, but also maybe sketch sometimes. Because I have like a creative work, sometimes I get like maybe an idea or a vision in my head and it's just best to kind of maybe not just describe it by words but also draw it out. Which a doc grid is really good for that because you don't have the lines, nothing is really in your way but you can still be able to write straight and stuff because the doc grid is it's a help for that. And these once again were from the Beautiful Kit. I love these a lot, so so pretty. And I also have some dot grid ones from the Berry Corn Kit, which was the very first Happy Scrappy kit that I got. And I believe this one was from the month of August. Really, really cute. And then, of course, because it is notes, I do also have regular note paper. And I have this little paper clip here, which is from AliExpress. Little bow matches my planner perfectly. And then I have these. It says meeting notes, but for me, these are just scratch paper. Like if I'm in a hurry or I don't have time to make things pretty, but I just want to write things down like for my memory. I use these because I would never use these otherwise because I don't really go to meetings. So I don't really need meeting notes in that way. Plus these papers from Kiki K are just really thin. Like I can't stamp on them, which I do a lot. And a lot of my pens, either they shadow or they bleed through, so... But I still found a good use for them, which is good, I think. Now we get to the last two dividers, which... Because in the kit, there was only four of these tabs. So I can only make four dividers, and I really want to purchase more once or if they get listed on the Happy Scrappy site but I couldn't wait to make this video for that to happen so I decided to make the dividers I could at the time so I just kept the old ones I had. These have more of a summery vibe it's a bit more bright colors than the kind of pastel springy theme I had going on but let's just ignore that for a moment and move on. So this one is projects. I have a cute little die cut here which was a freebie from the Love Cynthia Facebook group I believe. Here now these I had in before as well. Oh and there's a paper clip holding it together. This one let's see I actually can't remember what the shop is called but I love this little camera it's so so cute. So these were inserts from Happy Scrappy the Berry Corn Kit 
Uh, but it has these like boxes. I think you're supposed to have like a week on one page and then maybe a note section. But I didn't really know what to use them for. So I put them in here because I thought it might be a good idea to list like video ideas to keep like one idea in a box or to kind of plan out by week. Like, I don't know, but I thought it would be a good idea to use them for that because otherwise I don't know what I would use them for. But then we have here I have just some videos that I want to make for this channel either stuff that you guys have asked for or stuff that I want to make myself just some ideas we'll see if it happens let's see I also have some more notes just paper simple like that and then we have the very last divider which is economy it was same as my last planner setup. If you want to see my last planner setup, by the way, I will link it up here as well, which it's in the same planner and it's... Some of the things are the same, but the whole theme is kind of different. It's a bit brighter, I would say. But on the back here, I put some little die cuts. And here I have some more of these kind of collector cards where you can collect like... For example, Van Stieke has her bows and a lot of shops have different types of ways to kind of reward their customers. So I keep that kind of stuff in here once again to not lose it and be able to find it when I need it. So yeah, I have those there. Here I have order tracker, which isn't updated in a while because like I said, I just jumped back into this planner. I haven't actually written down everything that I'm waiting for yet, but either way, it's just the order tracker. I'm gonna get to that soon. And then here is coupons, which I can't share because it's for me personally as a customer to these shops. But yeah, it's a good place to keep your coupon somewhere so that you don't forget that you have them. So yeah, also, oops, holding that together was this paperclip from Little Miss Stacey Rose. I love this little credit card, so cute. I always have it in the economy section because it just, I mean, it fits perfectly, you know. And at the very back here, I have a plastic zipper pocket, also from AliExpress. And this might not be entirely necessary for me to have in here because it is quite bulky. Actually, let me just show you. It gets quite thick because I have quite a few sheets of stickers in here. But either way, I wanted to keep it in here because in here I have all of my spring kits that I want to use this upcoming spring. I mean, it is spring already, but when it actually feels like spring. Because I have, I don't have a good way to kind of organize my kits yet. I want to get like some sort of sticker binder, but that's bigger, that can fit kit sized sheets. And I don't want to forget the kits that I have. So I decided to put all the spring kits in my planner so that I know where to look for them once I need them. So firstly we have, and I'm not going to go through each sheet, but this is the beautiful kit from Happy Scrappy. Love this one so much. And then we have a spring kit also from Happy Scrappy. I don't know if this was part of some previous subscription, but I found it on the website. I thought it was super cute. I think I actually might use this one real soon. Here is some sticker sheets that came with the January kit. I want to get this full sticker kit. I just haven't, I haven't gone around to it yet. Uh, but I put them in here because I feel like the colors could really use for spring as well. And then I also have a Easter kit from Hello Pretty Paper. Either way, the very last thing in here is this. It's a dashboard. It's from the Berry Corn kit. But I just use it as a page lifter and I finally learned the word. It's called a page lifter. <laughs> that kind of makes the pages not get stuck under the rings. I also have the notes pages that did come with this planner. I see no need to take them out, so I just leave them in here. And I also have my pen here. This one is from Mommy Lay, as you can see, and it's a gorgeous crystal pen, which just twists like this. And this color really matched the kind of blue color that was in the kit. Let's see if I can find like this color. Also the bows in here. I have quite a few of colorful pens, but I just thought this one fits the best. But yeah, this was everything, guys. My entire planner setup for spring 2018. I love everything. Right now, I can't see myself ever switching these dividers out because I love them so much. But then again, people, different shops, always find a way to make something prettier than the last thing. So you never know. Never say never, I guess. But for now, I'm super happy with how everything is. It just, this planner for me is mainly just pure happiness. It's pretty, it's cute, it's colorful, it's everything that makes me happy. 
which is exactly what I want when I come here and open up my planner first thing in the morning. So yeah, I have a feeling that this video is super long. I'm sorry about that if that's the case. But even if it is, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you could find some sort of inspiration if you're setting up your own spring planner or just planner in general. So if you did like this or if it could even be some inspiration to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now!